Hey guys. Hey guys, ah, I'm sorry to scare some of you guys. <laughs> Hold on, let me flip my camera around. But let me show you where I'm at. Like I'm in love. I'm, I was supposed to be by some water over yonder. And a lot of these beach goers were telling me I needed to go further down, about a mile or two down. And <laughs> the way these plus size thighs walk, by the time I would've came back, it would be dark and there's a lot of little things. Y'all see him right there? It's a lot of little stuff like this out here. It's a lot of geckos, it's a lot of things, little creatures I ain't seen. So I was like, I'm gonna stay my butt right here on this, on this, on this little boardwalk. But I know. So guys, hold on, I'm about to turn the camera around. So basically, Hold on, let me turn the camera around. Uh, give me one second. Y'all was rushing. I forgot my tripod, so bear with me, guys. But it's definitely, I hope what I have to say will touch somebody and will bless them. Because when you tell God, hey, look, I'm ready to go to my next level. I'm ready to do this and I'm ready to do that. Sometimes in the midst of it all, he allows you to get hurt from family, from friends, just a lot of things. But sometimes it's our own self, self-inflicted things that we do to ourselves as well. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hey, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Hey, guys. Everybody that's joining, I'm sorry. Um... I got a lot of messages asking <laughs> what the hell was going on. So hold on. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. It is so beautiful out here. So the reason why I have these balloons, I, were, I wrote some personal things on here because one thing that I've learned about me and my journey is you got to separate to elevate and I've been through so much like especially this last year it's like thank you it's like every year it seems like it's getting better but then again it's actually getting worse so you know, when you think about somebody that's successful and one of the main things that an interviewer asked them is, what was your turning point? Like, what clicked for you? Well, guys, yesterday it clicked for me. And when I tell you it clicked, it clicked so hard to where I said, OK, I was listening to God because I was crying, done crying, you know, praying, asking God, like, God, why is this happening to me? what is going on like why is this happening to me out of all people why me you know and like i've always said in some of my videos like i'm not exempt you're not exempt from life happening to you but 
He told me the old me had to die in order for me to elevate. So that's why I came up with the concept of a balloon release because and in death is supposed to be a celebration. I've come this far and I'm not angry with myself. I don't hate myself. I've learned to love myself through all of my flaws. But instead of me completely like erasing the old me, I said, no, she got to die. It's no if, answer, buts about it because God can't pour into my life. Y'all hear me? He cannot pour into my new life and in my old ways and in my old body and my old mindset and and people that surround me like this is all new guys this is all new and i hope i can encourage just one person just one person like i think about the story of how man said my dad would never be able to have kids ever god saw fit for me to be here we don't went through one of the worst periods to date for a lot of us. COVID. So many people lost their jobs. So many people died. So much bad stuff happened. But yet we still got separation. And we ain't talking about the good separation. We talking about the bad separation of family against each other. Um, friends falling out. All of this other stuff. So I just... Oh, Sorry, it's a bug. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate bugs. Okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, let me hurry you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, oh, so I'm saying this to say everything that I wrote on these balloons represent, represent the old me that I have to separate so that I can literally elevate. And one of the biggest ones was fear. Like, one thing that I've learned is that that's how the enemy controls you is through fear and through your mind. I've been prophesied to so many different times about my life. And one thing I learned about the enemy is that they know who you are before you know who you are. You hear me? So an enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And it's like, why am I constantly under attack? Why am I constantly? Why does this keep happening to me? Why, why, why? Maybe it's the anointing on my life. It's God for me and what he's getting ready to do for me. You hear me? So... It's, I'm, I'm, I'm being so transparent because I have to go through stuff if I'm going to help people, right? And this is just, this is kind of off of the, the, the subject, but I mean, I haven't fully told everybody my story, right? When I was 17 years old, I got raped and I went through counseling. It wasn't going anywhere, Right. 17 years old, I told the counselor, I said, have you been raped before? She's like, no. I said, I didn't say it like this, but basically to be relatable right now, sis, your books, your education and your degree cannot help me right now. And that's how I feel far as when God puts us through stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just like my pain is for a purpose because my pain is going to help somebody. I don't know who it is, but it's going to help somebody because God, God is real. And he allows us to hurt so bad to where we have no choice but to change. We have no choice but to change. He's waiting on us. It's like I heard something the other day where they said the teacher is silent when the students are taking tests. Oh, thank <laughs> Thank you. It's a new beginning. <laughs> thank you. See, I love Florida, y'all. These these Flor Floridians are amazing. But it's like I'm releasing my old self. I had to forgive myself 
for allowing certain things to happen to me. I have to forgive myself for sleeping on myself. I'm trying not to cry, y'all. But I'll be back. I will be back. This is this is not the beginning. Um, well, not the beginning. This is not the end. Um, I just had to come and just let y'all know I am okay. And God is working in my life. And he's about to do some amazing things. Um, anybody out there, if I could say this to y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm 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 trying to get everything out because I I will get sidetracked with the comments like a mug. So just just bear with me. Um, but thank you guys. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for the hearts, like the continuous hearts. I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. But it's like God has given me so many gifts, right? And it's like I got all these gifts. But I'm letting the enemy in my head to manipulate me to to making me think I'm not worthy, that I can't do it. And having me, I'll be honest, even comparing myself to other people, that's the furthest thing from the truth. And that's the one way when you are blessed with gifts and God has told you to do what he told you to do and you're not doing it. A couple things can happen, sis, bro, king, queen. He will snatch that up out you real quick he will snatch that away from you you know it's like some people say oh their dreams have died why have their dreams died i can i can say why because life newsflash life is always gonna happen it's like we have to really start our self-development journey. And in a in a black community, we look at self-development, such a negative thing. Somebody tell you, hey, look, go read a book to better yourself. Why is that so negative? You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be honest. When somebody told me to go read a book, I thought they was thinking I was stupid or something. I would be honest and I would say that because that's how ignorant I was. Or somebody would say, hey, look, go to counseling. Okay, counseling is cool. Oh, you think I'm crazy. But that's how they design us to think of ourselves. That's what the enemy wants us to think and believe. So I know I'm ranting, guys. And I thank y'all. Oh, thank y'all. God, like, when I tell y'all the stuff that I've been through, like, you wouldn't believe. And if I can just touch anybody right now, go after your dreams, strengthen your mind. Your mind is something nobody can take from you. Your skills and your gifts is something that nobody can take from you. Like the whole Elevate Her Media, right? My, <clears throat> my company, God told me it's going to be a multi- million dollar marketing social media marketing company i know this but in the midst of me officially launching i've been doing this since 2013 no who oh lord 2003 when i was working at the radio station i didn't know that this was going to be part of my destiny i didn't know that this was what god had for me you know it's like i dibbled and i dabbled in so many different things but this this when it comes to my social media and my marketing is just something that just flourished and it's it's a reason why i said it's elevate her media it's not just her it can't be her but it's helping everyone rise i have a purpose y'all and it's like I'm happy that I get to go through these things that I go through. Yeah, it's not fun. But I know that God, my pain is on purpose. It's starting to get dark. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm out here by myself. But I'm going to go ahead and do my my um my balloon release. And I'm going to talk to y'all later this week. Because... The devil wanted me to be quiet. I had my anxiety through the roof. Oh, people going to judge you. I don't even care no more. I don't care no more. Like, I don't care anymore. So, 
I love y'all. Thank you to everybody that was viewing me. But y'all definitely. So just to let y'all know, um, I know y'all can't see everything. But just like I said, a couple of these messages on here. One of the biggest ones was fear. So turn this around. Oh Lord. So this one right here has to go first. Cause this has been the biggest thing that has been holding me back, which has been fear. So on today, July 31st, I am releasing the fear that has been holding me back. The fear that has kept me down, that has held me back, that has doubted me, had me doubting myself, that had me scared, that has had me sleepless nights and had me being paranoid and just everything that fear is supposed to do which is supposed to destroy you so oh my gosh guys okay okay it's starting to get okay let me go because i think i see a little coyote over there but um let me go lord jesus i thank you i thank you for everything that you've done for me I thank you, Father God, for the blessings that you are getting ready to release to me because I am releasing and separating myself from anything and everyone that has held me down. All of my bad habits, all of my doubting, my fear, anything and everything. It's time for me to separate from so many things, so many people so that you can elevate me so you can pour into me, Father God. I thank you and everybody that is on this stream right now, Father God, I, I ask that you to release a supernatural healing and a blessing in their lives, Father God. If they're struggling with anything, Father God, I ask you, Lord, to help them out with whatever it is, whatever gifts they may be struggling with, whatever finances that they may be struggling with, Father God, in your mighty name, Lord, I just ask that you to show up and show out and let them know who you are, Father God. In your mighty name, I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody that's watching this. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself right now, Father God. In your mighty name, it is done. It's time to elevate. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all. Don't, don't sleep on yourself no more. Stop sleeping on yourself. It's time to go get what's yours. Forget people. Forget family. Forget friends. It's okay to be alone in this season. It's okay. Prioritize your time. You shouldn't even feel like you're even alone because you should be getting things done. Whatever that is to you. Whatever it is to you guys. Let me get out here because it's, it's, it's getting dark. I would definitely be back because it is gorgeous here. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me. And um, we shall talk this week. Like I said, it's time to elevate. Bye, guys. Thank y'all. Love you, too. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I should have watched it disappear because it's, it's totally gone. It is totally gone. But man, when I tell you I have some stuff on those balloons, I feel so much better. Let me show y'all. I feel so much better. I feel so much better. The old me is gone. Separation equals elevation. God cannot pour into you if you are still in your old ways. If you are still living, got the same old mindset, still doing the same old stuff, God cannot pour that new life into you. You got to separate in order to elevate. Your friends, your family, they'll get mad. Oh, he acted funny, she acted funny. So what? It's time for you to elevate. So serious. Bye. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all soon. They jamming. I feel like dancing a little bit. All right. Bye, guys.
Love y'all.